back into Minecraft creative mode. And today we're officially in the nether. And I'm here to show you of what's on the title. We got a, we got a castle here. Uh, all this is just extra. It doesn't go anywhere. But this is the portal I came out of from the Piglin base. It's all just to present all this. We have a massive castle structure. We obviously wonder, like, this is the only one that looks like part of the castle. Well, technically, yes, and the rest is just, like, add-ons. I mean, it has a lava fountain. Uh, that's the new banner I just made for it. I mean, not to mention some of this stuff... <laughs> Eventually... Like, some of this stuff doesn't even have any rooms. I just made floors. At least we do. I gave the piglins a good old... A golden beacon. And shockingly, if you destroy that... It actually works. One singular tree and multiple layers of floors. Oh, and there's that thing which I'll show you in a bit. Let's at least go downstairs. Just right here we have a little a lava waterfall. Lava falls, specifically. Honestly, this is just random. It's just a map thing. But honestly, you can't really map out here. Now to this one. This is supposed to be like... It's literally just a tower. I can also say that the piglins... Well, the piglins spawn here. And literally started making themselves comfortable. But this is a pretty cool looking thing. It's even surrounded by these vines that give it a little extra. It's literally just an end crystal. But obviously give it a tower to make it a little bit more protected. The only end crystal in the nether. <laughs> Never to be foreseen. At least this was a nice touch surrounding the tower. Alright, to the next floor. Yeah, this isn't much of a... that much. It's just a thing to make arrows, and literally just target practice. That's basically it. This floor is where it's all at. This is basically the hangout space. Where basically a massive chunk of the piglins hang out. We have a little bell tower. We have a lot of campfires. And who says that water can't be in the nether? <laughs> Unless you use a cauldron. <laughs> so this is basically another way to cook. An enderman, an enderman's been in here. We have a play of nether wards, or campfires. I don't know. So here is supposed to be a prison log, which I'll show you below. <laughs> a little cooking station with a bunch of tables. And this... Oh, he's dead. Uh, this was the place where you could trade to get, like, nice stuff off of it. I'm guessing they killed him. Alright, come on, get out here. Answer for what you did. I do know these hoglins keep on... Well, they keep fighting each other, and that's the problem. I honestly don't know why, it's pretty much random. And now, basically over here, we basically have, this is basically the bottom floors, it's basically, this is basically the prisons, 
As you can basically see, there are a lot, a lot of jail cells. And obviously there's no beds. Because if you already didn't know, if a bed in the nether, in the nether literally explodes. But my gosh, this was a massive laid out, layout that I created. My, of course you're probably wondering what was the point of all these cells. My my point of view of it was I want confusion. Like if you were a very human trying to get your friend out of this prison, the first thing I want you to be is confused. Because there's so many cells and you don't know where your friend might be. He could be in this one, he could be in this one, that one, one of these three anywhere. The whole goal was confusion. And also to make it random, to make it give it a really unique vibe. And for the most part, I think I've done pretty well. Here's the basically the, the main point. All these stairs. All the little places to all that. There's literally two floors of cells. The very bottom floor and the higher floor. And this is all for the sake of space. Because these cells are really small. Three by three. Well, it's five by five and three by three inside. And you basically don't have enough room to do much of anything. No beds, because they're just simply just going to explode. But at least. Nah. But at least, nah. that's basically the whole place. But I just wanted to get in my own version of the Nether Castle. Obviously, a lot of you out there might have better ones, but <laughs> this is mine. And I think I did a pretty decent job. For the record, it's supposed to be skinny. It's supposed to be just a few of these buildings, but then I end up going way further than I should have. <clears throat> like, this is literally all the way to the lava level. Like, if I want to, I can literally keep expanding literally this way if I wanted to. But honestly, I don't think it's that necessary. And I also don't know why these... the piglins and the hoglins keep fighting. And honestly, that's not, that's not my business. But that's pretty much it for the whole nether castle. I especially like over here with all the vines surrounding it. <laughs>